Hey guys, it's your girl Cassandra and I'm back with another video. I do not have any makeup on and that's because I want to show you guys like a mini haul that I did for my birthday and let's just get into it. So the first product that I have here is the Dose of Colors box and it is the I Love Sahari palette. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If not, please forgive me. So this is what the box looks like. I just pulled out the little flaps from over here, opened it up. And you have this on the inside. These stickers are really cute. But I'm guessing this is what the girl looks like. <laughs> I don't even follow her. I guess I should because I was in love with the packaging. I just like this whole tropical look. So this is what it looks like when you open up the box. And then on the inside it says, To all my beauties, I am happy to share my dream collaboration with Dose of Colors. When we created the I Love Sahari Times Dose of Color collection, we wanted to make sure that everyone could go from a natural soft look to the ultimate glam. We hope you enjoy what we've created. Thank you for being my daily motivation. Without you guys, this would not have been possible. Oh, that's a nice little message on the top of here. Okay. I will admit, for as big as the box is, I thought the palette was going to be bigger. This is the actual palette. I hold it up against some of my other palettes. So, like, this is the Isla Sahari palette next to my MAC 15 color palette. Juvia's Place Zulu palette. And it's, it's pretty tiny, guys. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger than this. But still... I had to get it like I had to have this is what it looks like I must say like the packaging is really cute look at how pretty so you have Poquito Moss, Sun Glow, Wanderlust, Loungy, Palma, and Finders Keepers has a mirror on here look at these colors guys these colors are fucking bomb I just wanted to swatch a few of these just so you can kind of see what they look like look at how pigmented these colors are guys these colors are bomb. I'm definitely going to have to create a look with these. This is my first ever Makeup Forever order. I just got this in the mail earlier. And they had a 25% off sale. So what I did was I just ordered a foundation. And they sent me like a few free samples. So this is what the... Oh, this is what the inside of the box looks like. This is a Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster. And they sent me a Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade hey, wherever wanna i'm loving the black and red packaging like i'm living for it so i got the makeup forever ultra hd invisible cover foundation and it's in the shade y455 also known as um 173 i believe i love stuff that's not expensive so bh cosmetics has been like one of my favorite makeup brands since i first started doing makeup some of the brushes that i first got back in 2011 i still had i got two sets I wanted them for the holder and they didn't they didn't have the holder by itself so I decided to order two sets of the brushes so that way I can get the holders one I'm gonna keep at home and what I want to keep at the salon I actually do have a BH Cosmetics marble brush holder already and it has like the rose gold these have just the silver on the front I am living for this marble look guys so I'm gonna just open one of these I don't feel like it's there is a need to open both so, this is what the box looks like BH logo on top it says it's a white marble nine piece brush set with an angle brush holder. So when you, oh, it's already like inside the holder too. That's really decent. So I'm going to grab the brushes first and then I'll grab the holder last. Let's read what kind of brushes we have in here. Does it tell you? Okay. So let's go through. Fresh out the packaging. I mean, it's, it's not bad. Ooh. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Everything's like pre-wrapped. And wrapped in its own little plastic. Here is the marble brush holder. Oh. It actually almost looks its exactly the same as my other one. It just like I said, this one is rose gold. This one is silver. My salon is silver, black, white, and light purple, like lavender. So I feel like that would go better with my salon colors. And I actually think that this brush holder is a little bit smaller. It is. Wait, maybe I'm tripping. Yeah, I feel like this brush holder is a little bit smaller than the other. It is. Just by a tiny bit. So this is like out of the packaging and everything. Oops, I keep dropping these fucking things. Look at how soft. We have a powder brush that can be also used for blush. A large angle contour brush, a tapered highlighter brush, a deluxe blending brush, a dense crease 
blush, brush, paper blending brush, precision brush for the crease, a flat shader brush, and a detailing brush. These brushes are so freaking pretty. And I got a um, BH Liquid Eyeliner. Surprisingly, I'm in love with the BH Liquid Eyeliner. Like, I've had some crispy ass lines with this eyeliner. Alright, so now I'm about to play around with my eyes real quick and try out this foundation. If you want to see how I came up with this makeup look, then continue watching. This beat literally took me 10 minutes. Ooh, baby. So I just want to try out this foundation to see if I like it, see if it's like a good match for me. So I'm just gonna go right in and start applying this Makeup Forever Y445 Ultra HD Foundation and this is what it looks like out the pack. I just wanna test it out and see how like the coverage. Guys, I forgot to put a primer on. Do not judge me. I wanna see like how good the coverage is without using concealer cause I have a few dark marks. My skin has been breaking out terribly, guys. I've been like mad stressed. There's been a lot going on. Okay, I'm liking this so far. I feel like with another pump, I can definitely cover up these dark marks. But so far, it ain't bad. In my first impression, it feels lightweight. It doesn't feel too sticky or greasy. It kind of feels like nothing's on my face, which is weird. I'm used to feeling like my foundation feel kind of thick. I'm going to do something really quick. I did want to try out the palette to play around with the colors. So I'm going to go in. I normally don't even do this, but I'm going to go in without a primer on my lids. I'm going to see how pigmented the colors are without a primer. It's blent, honey. It's blent. Blent to the gods. So I'm going to go in with this blue. This blue is like speaking to my soul. This is showing up nicely, so I can only imagine how it would look if I put a primer on. Or even if I used a little bit of concealer. This color is popping, honey. Sure, popping. This is giving me island vibes, definitely. Come through, I love Sahari. When I was getting this palette, I was telling myself, like, look, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. And then I caved. I need it. That was me. I was like, babe, please get it for me. It's limited edition. It's not going to be there long. Once it's going, I'm going to regret it. I am getting a little bit of fallout on my face, but that's because I'm being extra rough. I look mad crazy with my brows not on. I'm going to try the black too. So what I'm going to do is just put it on my Urban Decay brush just a tiny bit. I'm just going to use it to deepen my corners. This is going terribly wrong. Terribly, but we're gonna blend this out. I'm gonna use a blending brush and try to net out a little bit so that line's not so damn hard. Now I'm gonna take this red Wanderlust. I think this is the shade Wanderlust. We're about to find out in a second. I'm gonna put that on my brush and just. It's looking a little iffy right now. Just bear with me for two seconds. I'm gonna just reapply my foundation because I don't know why in the world I was possessed to do my foundation first. I never do foundation first for this very reason. There we go. Kind of see the vision coming together, guys. Now I'm just going in with that Makeup Forever foundation. And I'm just blending my face out. I didn't even put a liner on. I completely forgot and I don't have time. Even without the liner, I'm loving this. So this is the final look. My camera actually ended up dying on me. And I went in underneath with this black shade. And then with this blue shade. And then the very, very, very tips, I use this golden shade. So this is the finished look just for my eyes and my brows and skin. I don't have any highlight, contour, concealer, primer, lashes, liner, no lip. This is like an everyday I can go to work look. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Thumbs down if you don't. Just make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and tell everyone that you know about this bomb-ass palette.